When it comes to the reverse engineering assignment, there's three pieces of paper that need to be stapled together and turned in to get full credit. The first one is the, the, um, the actual scale drawing, the multi-view drawing that we make of the wooden part. You need to make a top, front, and side view, provide a scale size, and use the 45 degree line to transfer the sketch to the right side. You need to make a part file in Inventor, and you also need to create a drawing file complete with all the dimensions. I'd like to, in this video, get you started with the part file, which is this one right here. So I'm going to open up Inventor, and this is what our final product is going to look like. This, this shape should look familiar, because this is the exact shape that I had um, given you in class. Let's go ahead and get started. To do that, we're going to have to make a new part, which I've already done here. And I used the line tool to make the initial basic roughed out sketch. I then went in with the, the dimension tool and I was able to plug in the basic dimensions. So the bottom, you should have gotten 11 inches, 1 inch in height right here, and 4 inches in height here. Notice how I do not add a dimension here as that would be unnecessary. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to finish the sketch and give it depth. To do so, in the upper left hand corner, there's an option to extrude. Extruding is what gives us depth. It allows us to utilize the Z axis right down here. The distance that I need to extrude is half of an inch, and 0.5 is already typed in. If I wanted to make this, for example, one inch, I would just type in one. But for now, I want it to be 0.5. I press OK. What I'll do next is I'm going to add on this wooden block right here. So to do that, whenever we, we want to add on a new feature, we have to press, we have to create a new sketch. And to create a new sketch, we use this button up here, Create New 2D Sketch. Clicking on that, I, I have to select the face of this object that I want to create the sketch on. And in this case, I want it to be the front side. From here, I can use the rectangle button to draw the basic shape of that piece of wood. And I don't really care how big of a rectangle that I make here, because using the dimension tool, I can plug in the correct dimensions. The total length of this should be 4 inches. So I just left click on the length of the line, drag it down, and, so, and turn it to 4. The height should be 2 inches. Right now, you'll notice the height is about 1.865 inches. If I click on that, it allows me to edit it. I'm going to change it to 2. This is ready to be extruded. It'll be extruded. First thing I have to do is click the face that's going to be extruded and make sure I have the right distance in. And actually, this is correct. It needs to be half of an inch. I look at the preview, it looks good, so I'll press OK. The very last thing that we need to do is we need to put the hole into it right here. Now to put the hole in there, there's a couple dimensions we need to make sure that we have. The first is the, di the diameter of the hole, which should be one half of an inch. We also need to find the height of the hole from the bottom. That distance should be seven eighths. The distance, and we also need the to grab a dimension from the side. So from here to here, we should have gotten two inches. I'm going to go ahead and um, create a new sketch. I'm just going to make a basic circle. And I'm going to start to plug in these dimensions that we talked about. The first one is the diameter of the circle. The diameter should be one half of an inch. The distance from the bottom to the center of the circle is should be seven eighths of an inch. And the distance from the side to the center of the hole should be two inches, which it already is. This sketch is ready to be extruded. So I always go into isometric view and finish my sketch. I'm going to click Extrude, and I'm going to select Cut. So I have to go down one here. Whenever we remove material, we select Cut. I'm going to 
click on the circle. And now for distance, I want it to I don't want it to go half of an inch. Half of an inch would only bring it through this first piece of wood. I want it to go all the way through. So for my distance, it's going to be all. And then I look at my at my um, preview, and I can tell that it is going to cut that hole all the way through. So I press OK. So now you can tell that there is a hole going all the way through this. This part is done. The last thing that I can do is just give it a material, if you so choose. If I go down to the bottom, there's actually wood. And since that was a oak piece of wood that we had in class, I'm going to change this to oak. And this part is ready. Make sure you save it and print it out. Part of this video probably seemed pretty fast, but when we combine what we learned in class with this video, I hope you're able to get up and running.